let's see example jsp application to understand or work with the page context attributes page context different attributes so here i'll create a deployment iot structure which contains a b c d and some of them on are in chaining and some of them are not in chaining okay and i can i, I have one more directory under the uh, 17 web context at, at uh, directory that is a web inf under this i have one file called web.xml so here let me go to my d drive d apache software foundation tomcat 10 web apps new folder 17 context attribute under this under this let me create a, a one more directory with a name called web inf okay web inf is mandatory either you create web.xml or not okay so you can keep this as optional and now it's a time to create a source file i think i used a normal text let me use jsp others so here is my jsp and my favorite tags like let me add some break tag and let me keep it center <coughs> and let me keep let me keep some page context attribute in a skiplet tag page context dot set attributes set attribute all so you need a key you need a value okay again if you can keep in a different scope also okay so here i'll use page context okay some different scope now page context i will use here a1 here v1 okay a1 v1 <coughs> and here is what my here i have my request scope request a scope let me set one more page context dot set attribute a2 val2 okay page context dot i'll keep here session scope session underscore scope next i'll keep here uh, a3 v3 page context so i'll keep here what uh, application scope application underscore scope the things we seen yesterday is the same example here means i can use only page context to set the different attributes in the different scopes are you getting yesterday what we did upon kal kai Bola. session dot set attribute request dot set attribute application dot set attribute we use a different implicit object in a study session and we set the different attributes we modified we updated we removed right but here i do not need to use all this implicit object one by one i can take the help of page context to set the different attributes with the different values and within the parameter i can pass the scope okay is it clear is it clear next what i am trying to do i am forwarding the request forwarding the request to <coughs> request to uh, b.jsp how do i forward JSP, use action tag jsp colon forward then use the page b dot b dot jsp and it's a self closing tag use slash okay fine then so here i set the attribute here in this a dot jsp i set the attribute okay here i set the attribute set all the attributes with different scope anyhow i am writing this well this label 
I am writing this label. This will all be printed in a.js. Why? Will not be printed in on the browser. Why? Because I am forwarding my a.jsp request to b.jsp. So what forward does? It discards the source output and sends the destination output. Understood? Understood? <coughs> so let me save. Indeed, I Apache Software Foundation Tomcat Web Apps 17. Give the name A. Okay, save. Beside to web banner. Okay, fine. File. Let me create p.jsp, others, jsp. Okay, fine. Now in the b.jsp, even though if you keep center and blah blah blah, again I'm going to forward. Again I'm going to forward. So read all the attributes with different scopes. Even though if you read and if I forward the request to c.jsp, I'm not going to see the outputs. Just read the, all the attributes in different, with different scopes. This output will not be printed on my b.jsp because I have, again I have a and b and c will be in chaining. Okay, just look at this yesterday's example. Uh, I will open somewhere this one, not this one. <coughs> this one browser gives the request a.jsp, b.jsp, c.jsp. Okay. Okay, fine. So they all A, B, C are in chaining. You can keep D or E is not in chaining. So these can access page, sorry, these can access within the page, page attributes. Request, they are in chaining. Session, all can access. Application, all can access. Right? Uh, same example, I should try to. But by using what? Page context attributes. So use scriptlet tag. And read page context attribute if you wish to read. <coughs> so, what should I do now here? Page context get attributes. Get you can use get or you can use find. Which one shall you try? Find if you try, you will search in all the scopes. You will get the value. If it is available, you will get the value. Use get. You can use get attributes because already you are, you, are, you are confident about. Yes, it is available in request, session, and application. You try with the get attribute, try with the find attribute, both works. Not, nothing great. Did. Yesterday we try with the get attribute. Today I will work with the find attribute. Find attributes. Uh, get the attribute value. What are the attribute value uh, by using? A1, A2, A3. A1. Now, this is my. Uh, okay, this is triplet. This is declaration tag. Not declaration. This is expression tag. Expression tag. In this expression tag, uh, let me. Uh, what should I keep here? Let me give the label. Uh, attribute one, or you can call uh, A1. A1, A1 is from where? Request scope, na? Request scope value. Right? Same you can use for A2, A3. A2, A3. <coughs> Session. Application scope. Here is what? A2, there is what? A3. Right or wrong? Done. Let's save this page and uh, you can send if you, uh, it is up to you how many pages you want to keep in chaining. Okay. I will forward the same to with respect to this diagram. I will forward to c.jsp. Save beside to a b.jsp. Hit the save button. I will use the same code. Okay, copy, file, new, others, JSP. Okay, so I'll change to. I'll remove. I do not. I'm not forwarding. 
I'm not forwarding. Simply read all the attributes with different scope. So where I'm in now? C dot JSP. Right? Yeah. Right? Similarly, I'll save this program with the JSP with the name called C dot JSP. Fine. Uh, I will do the same. I will do the same. I will create one more file new with the JSP. Okay. And here I will call d.jsp. Now, here I will get uh, this request, this page, this request attribute as a null. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> D dot JSP done. Now just let me reload the application by using web.xml. Empty web icon app tab. Under the web INF web dot XML. <coughs> just start the server. Now this time I will give the request to first D dot JSP. I will give reverse, reverse request then. C dot JSP, then B dot JSP, then A dot JSP. Again, I will go from B, C, D. Okay, we will get the difference. <coughs> so, let me start the server. You can try same by using, uh, you can try this application by using a single browser or multiple browser. Application scopes are visible in all the browsers. Session scope visible to that specific browser. Request for the specific request. Okay. Now, <coughs> manager app. Seventeen. Oh, habituated with the no. First, I'll try with the D dot chase. Okay. Read all the attributes with different scope. Request scope is what? Okay, I forget to add here H1, H2, H3, I'll add. So that you will have clear visibility. Now you will come to know why I, why I always add tags. Understood? Control C, Control S. So I'll add everywhere. Hey, Baba. Now, either you add or don't add, doesn't give any sense here. And just see here. Okay, I forget to add somewhere here. Break that. Okay, can you see? A1 request scope is null. A2 null. A3 null. In D.jsp, right? Now, I will use C. What C will give you? Null. Because it is in chaining A to B, B to C. A will give the all the values to B, B will give all the, all the values to C. <coughs> A will set request values to B, B to C. This is for request. Session will set by A. So application will set by A. So definitely A, B and C will give you again null. Now this is what? This will also will give you uh, null. Okay, and let me give A now. This is what A. Now you will get all the output. <coughs> now A request attribute value is V1, A2 session scope V2, A3 application scope V3. Now I will refresh B dot chase. Now B will send the request to where C. Okay, in a request for Aldili B Ladili B in a C Ladili A gives request to B, B gives request to C. Here is A dot JSP na A to B, B to C. Now here directly I give request to B dot JSP. B sends forward the request to C dot JSP, but that request does not, this is separate request, this is separate request. So in this request, I do not have request value. Obviously, it will be. Obviously, obviously, a value of a request scope will be null in this request. 
if you refresh whereas session always set by a dot jsp so that's what i got the value in b dot jsp is a v2 and application scope v3 here also i will get the value okay null because this is i am refreshing this is separate scope na sorry this is a separate request scope so that's what this is null this is v2 this is v3 okay now d this will be null this is this, this, <coughs> what about session scope yes accessible application already accessible okay now i'll give the same request from where from different web browser so i can i can access i cannot access a1 request scope a2 request scope both will receive as a null whereas application scope is visible to all the browser windows means by using page context attribute i can able to perform page request session and application okay ha huh? b worthy look at here now i'll show the difference now first i give the request to a a forward the request to where b so coming request from browser to a a generates request session and application now then b b has same request with request attribute session attribute value and application again forward to c understood ah now directly i give request to b dot jsp b is setting any value in the request now so that's what it's a it's a separate request so if you are sending the separate request you will get what null now here also i am sending separate request so here is what null here is this is obviously separate request null this is not in chaining but here it is in chaining a a1 a dot jsp to b dot jsp b dot jsp to c dot jsp they are following same request and they are having the scopes clear ha huh? is it clear fine guys actually i forget to add here a break tag so that's what you got <coughs> same output okay fine i hope you are clear about all these applications uh, from different pages and for different browsers also and uh, you might have you might raise a question what is page scope okay like this this already we learned about page recall previous notes recall previous notes what is a page page is the current class reference right up ha huh? okay fine so next we shall see about <clears throat> i will add one more note point for your understanding sake so guys add one note point note point while working with the while working with the attributes attributes in jsp do not use individual request do not use individual request session application object before working this example page context ha huh? before working with this example na huh? page context right ha we work with the we work with the different scopes yes yesterday evening example and day for yesterday is morning and day for yesterday evening example so request dot set attribute session dot set attribute application dot set attribute are you getting so while working with the attributes in jsp please do not use please do not use individual request comma session comma application object object application objects so it is always recommended it is always better or recommended
बेटर टू यूज सिंगल पेज पेज कॉन्टेक्स्ट पेज कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इज ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सॉलेट कॉन्टेक्स्ट राइट है पेज कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सॉलेट कॉन्टेक्स्ट सो बेटर टू यूज सिंगल पेज कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट पेज कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट टू क्रिएट टू क्रिएट different scopes of attributes okay <coughs> let's see now let's work with the jsp colon plugin plugin action tag